WPHS, I'm PTV Nicole Clark with your October 13th, 2016, and to my right is my always lovely co-anchor. Yay! That's me! I'm Devin Gritton, and Nicole and I have some spectacular news, so stay tuned! <laughs> meetings are Bridge Bus Room in 218, Newspaper Room 120, and Heart Club in Room 107. As you may have heard, LJH is playing the second annual Fall Festival, which is a fundraiser for their school. You can enjoy the haunted school and trick-or-treating, so please mark your calendars. It will be held on Friday, October 28th from 5.30 to 6.30. It will be the family-friendly. Then from 7 to 9, they're going to scare it up a little bit. Then on Saturday, October 29th from 5 to 6 will be the family-friendly. Then from 6.30 to 8.30 for some more scares. The cost is $5 for trick-or-treating and $10 for the haunted school. The fall festival includes trick-or-treating, and we are seeking donations of bags of Halloween candy. Donations can be brought to the office anytime now and the festival. All donations are accepted. Plymouth High School Pride of Plymouth Marching Band attended the Indiana State School Music Association Scholastic Tournament last weekend at the Homestead High School in Fort Wayne. This is similar to sectionals for the athletics. The band earned a gold award rating, the special with the distinction award in all three categories, music, visual, and effect. The band will now compete this weekend at Chesterson High School at the Indiana State School Music Association Regionals Contest, where the top ten schools will advance to the semi-state to complete October 22nd. Now through October 24th, Quinn Sellner and her Plymouth High School Life Skills Program are holding their annual popcorn sale fundraiser. These little bags of heaven are perfect gifts for your trick-or-treaters, class, and or family snacks. Cost per bag is $1.25. Popcorn will be delivered Thursday, October 27th this year. The class is making Chicago-style mix with caramel and cheddar cheese. And it's a perfect mix of salty and sweet cheese and buttery treat. The portions are packaged individually in the festive Halloween bags decorated with ribbons. Special orders are welcome ahead of time. Please email Quinn Sellner at qsellner at plymouth.k12dian.us with your order and where you would like your yummy snack to be delivered. Proceeds go towards supplies and activities for the PHS Life Skills Program. As you know, the end of the first quarter is up. Check your grades and prepare for the best of the worst because Friday, October 14th, in our first period, you can get handed a report card that mom and dad will likely be asking for. If you didn't do so hot, you can always try and make the next nine weeks better. <laughs> I'm Jesus A. I'm Jesus B. I'm Warren Garcia. I'm Devin Gritton. I'm Nicole with PTV Sports. Stay tuned for details. Well, to kick off our sports rundown today, at 6 p.m., freshman football will be at Goshen. 6 p.m., volleyball will go head-to-head -head against Triton, and it will be a home game. And at 6 p.m., boys soccer will have regionals at Mishawaka. Good luck to all the teams playing from the PTV crew to you. The Plymouth Rockies varsity football team traveled to Goshen Friday evening to take on the Red Hawks in the NLC battle. The Rockies drove the ball up and down the field, well, most of the evening, but failed to dent the scoreboard. The Rockies fell 2-7. and seven. The loss dropped the Rockies 4-4 four and four on the year and 3-3 three and three in the NLC. This week, the Rockies hoped to get things going after dropping two games in a row against the Concord Minutemen and Goshen Red Hawks. This Friday, the Rockies will be playing their homecoming game against the Northwood Panthers. The Panthers are coming in undefeated, so the Rockies are hoping to knock them off their pedestal. This game is sure to be an exciting one, so make sure you go out and support our Rockies. My fellow anchor Devin here has created a soccer video in honor of all the girls that have dedicated their time and years trying to make the program a success. Please watch and enjoy. I know we did.
time question was, who was the Beatles' first drummer that preceded Ringo Starr? The class Miss Webb was the donut winner, so let's go in there. Donut winner! Everyone. Bon appetit, 24 each. It's that time of the week again, trivia time. This week, our question is, what does Indiana produce more than any other state per capita? If you know the answer, call the extension 1241 now, and you might be able to win the signature PTV prize, a couple bags of delicious donuts, for your whole room. Again, the question is, does, what does Indiana produce more than any other state per capita? If you know it, make sure you bring home the prize for your SRT right now by calling the extension 1241. Good luck. Today has been such a good day so far. You know it would make it better, though? What? If I knew it was for lunch today. Well, for lunch today, we'll be having mini corn dogs, broccoli with cheese, fruit and vegetable bar, and cute little bunny crackers. Today, WSOI juniors are taking a field trip to IUSB and IP Tech while the traditional students took it yesterday. This field trip for the juniors was designed to show students what IU and IP Tech has to offer as they re-embark on going to college after high school. Both higher learning institutions are very affordable and have extremely close proximity to Plymouth. By the way, a few members of our PTV crew are going to be starting to do a bi-weekly podcast discussing movies, TV shows, and music. Make sure you keep the lookout for our PTV YouTube channel. Ladies and gents, from October 17th through the 21st, PCSE will be experiencing fall break. I hope everyone has an amazing week off in falls in love with Indiana's changing of the seasons. That's all we have for you guys today, so stay tuned every Thursday for more entertaining, fascinating, and overall captivating news. Have a great day, PHS, and go Rockies.